Hi, welcome to the very first ISKL Middle School Library podcast, video, YouTube, uh, book talk, extravaganza, thingamabob. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this short. I made a couple that were too long, so I'm going to try not to talk too much. Although I apologize right off the bat for looking as though I am in some variety of Hollywood depiction of the afterlife. For the next video, I will try to attempt to find a location that does not involve bright white lights coming out of my head like giant glowing wings. Uh, the two, I'm going to talk about two fiction books, a non-fiction book, and a magazine today, okay? The first book I'm going to talk to you about is a fiction book called Countdown by Deborah Wiles. Now, the cool thing about this book and the two fiction books I'm going to talk to you about is they're written in very non-traditional ways. They're both known as documentary novels. They involve the inclusion of, for example, in this one, illustrations, photographs of particular eras, um, instructions in this one on how to build a bomb shelter. How to build a bomb shelter, you say? Yes. This book is particularly about growing up in the 1960s, and more specifically about uh, the Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay, During this era, think about this way, and if you were in school during this era, in addition to having your fire drills, you'd also have bomb drills, where you were told to crawl under your desk and hide, because those you know, that, that half inch of plywood would totally save you from a nuclear bomb blast above your school. Um, anyway, it was a frightening and terrifying time, and that's what this book captures. But it does it, you know, like I said, with all of these photographs and kind of advertisements and movie posters and all kinds of stuff. You can see there's one depiction, let's see if I quickly find it, of kids hiding underneath their desk. No, I can't, can't find it right off the bat. Uh, anyway. It's a good book, and instead of me going on about it forever, I'll let you check out a YouTube clip I'll put in my description of this video that will take you to another YouTube clip of a, uh, the author, Deborah Wiles, discussing the book and talking about it a little bit, so you can learn more about it. The other book, whoop, the other book I want to talk about is called Nothing But The Truth by Avi. A lot of you have read books by Avi. I really like him. He's a good author. Now, this one deals, it's interesting, this one doesn't have, you know, pictures and things like that in it. But it's written in such a way that the book is written by having memos written by the high school district, conversations between two people um, that almost read like you're reading a play. There's sections of it that are announcements over the loudspeaker in a school. And it's all over this fact that a kid hums along to uh, the Star Spangled Banner, okay, or the, the, uh, the national song, the... The National Anthem, there you go. Don't know why that blanked on that. Uh, the National Anthem of the United States. So he hums along to it at the beginning of the school day, and he gets into trouble for doing it, okay? And it turns into this, this national-wide news story, okay? And what's cool about it is by the end of the book, you are aware of exactly what happened, okay? But the way people talk about it by the end of it, you're unsure as to who's being truthful, who's being honest. Is anyone being honest? Is is every you know it adds all these questions it's all a bunch of gray area and it's really really interesting the cool thing about it is fast read you know it's short and you know it's a lot of dialogue so it's pretty quick to read through okay and it's an intriguing story because when you're done with it and if you have someone else that you read it along with you'll have a lot to discuss because neither of you will know be 100 percent sure what it was about now i'm going to tell you about this book now i like i'm a librarian so i like big books, all right? That's just part of who I am. All right, there's this, weird, uh, oh, this book called History, and it's you'll notice that it is published by a company called DK. Now, the cool thing about DK, or I think it's like Dorling Kingsley, um, the cool thing about that company is that they make visually stunning books, stuff that you can't necessarily get um, on the internet and by other means. These books are very mm, booky, by for lack of a better word, okay? So this one is called History, the Definitive Visual Guide, okay? So it covers a lot of human history, okay? So you know, it's, you know it has all things about the, you know, from the pyramids and other ancient civilizations. Let's take a look here. And you can see that each page has depictions of, uh, you know, whether it's armor or sculpture or timelines or artwork or weaponry and all kinds of stuff. Here you can see all, one of the coolest devices ever made, the trebuchet. All right. So if you want, what this is, what's cool about this book, 
and what I what I call it is a real browser book, is the fact that you don't have to read this book cover to cover. I don't think anybody expects you to read it cover to cover. The cool thing about it is that I'll leave it out with some other visually interesting books, and you can open up to pretty much any page that you know just strikes your fancy. And each page is, has maybe a couple little articles, and you can just spend two minutes, and you know you have a little bit of time to kill. Look up something that's cool, read about it, and. There you have in your head a brand new nugget of knowledge, a brand new nugget of information that you can go home and bore your parents with, okay? So I highly recommend coming in and checking out books like that. And I'll, I'll try to be setting up a table somewhere out here that'll, that'll discuss it in, that'll have those kinds of books out so you can browse that and art books, things like that. Now, I'm going to talk about a magazine, my favorite magazine, or possibly my favorite magazine of all time, called Mental Floss. Not Dental Floss, but Mental Floss, okay? So you can hear that this one is the explosive history of food is this issue, okay? Now, it has a lot of random information. It doesn't mean it's stupid or boring information. In fact, it's the opposite. It's quite interesting information. One of the articles that I really like in this one is called better off dead okay seven people whose death notices improved their lives okay so but that by dying or by someone claiming they were dead their lives got better okay and it goes over seven of those people including one of my favorite mark twain who was told he was dead in print i think twice before he was actually dead um but the one article in here that I think is really intriguing is called The Courtship Rituals from Around the World. Okay, and the very first one, this is what I'm going to end this video on, okay? This is the very, so courtship, how, you know, uh, how people date and things like that. So, at dances in the 19th century, eligible Austrian girls would keep an apple slice crammed under their armpits. When the night ended, the girl would hand the slice to a gentleman who caught her eye. If the feeling was mutual, he would eat it. That just says, I like Austria, but I wouldn't have liked to have gone to a dance in the 19th century there. Okay? That is gross. <laughs> if you like that kind of information, those kind of stories, that kind of weird, you know, true facts about the world, this magazine is for you. It's just random facts, random information. It's a great collection of stuff. All right? Um, until the next time I talk to you guys, uh... Keep it real.